Pencil case, spotty pencil case. Is it in there, miss? Yes, well, I'm sure someone definitely handed one in this oh morning. And I think it must have got down to the bottom. Uh, now, ah, oh, is this it? Has it got a lump of chewing gum stuck on the back, miss? Chewing gum? Oh, yes, Claire, it has got a lump of chewing gum stuck on the back. Then it's definitely mine. Yes, well, take it away, then. Thanks, miss. And then make sure you don't lose it again. Okay. I, I'm going to have to start charging soon, you know. 20 pence to get your property back. Right, miss. Bye. Bye. Charging for lost property? Oh, I always tell my go to that headmistress. 20 pence a time? Yes, of course, I don't really mean it. What's the best idea you've ever had, you brainless bean pole? How much lost property do we get every week? Oh, I don't know. Half a dozen bits and bobs? Not enough. We need more lost property. You can't surely actually want people to start losing their belongings? Well, they do if we're going to charge them 20p to get their bits of rubbish back. Oh, just think how much money I could make. You could make, headmistress. I mean, the school could make. Uh, oh, yes. This could be a very nice little earner indeed. <laughs> 10, 15, 17, 90. 19. I've got to have 20, would you? Oh, hello, Badge. I just need one p. Well, go to the toilet then. Uh. Oh, I don't mean that sort of pee. Oh, I've got a lost a spanner. I'll we'll find it. No, no, Badger, no, 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 leave it. It's up there in lost property. Oh, I just need one. I'll see one. A one pee pee? Yeah. Whereabouts? Hey, hey, where? Hey, will you stop that, mate? Will you stop that? Stop that, stop that, stop Got it. Oh, well done. Let's have it then, Badge. Good. Oh, I'll get it. Hey, what? Hey, Badger, no. No, no, please. No, Badger, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Leave it. Stop that. Twenty pence to get my gloves back. Forty pence me. Twenty pence each. She wouldn't. Do you reckon it's worth it money for her? Huh? Do you? No. <laughs> Gosh, headmistress, I can't believe how much lost property we've suddenly got. Nineteen twenty. Yes, I know. Extraordinary, isn't it? Yes. All right, buzz off. Next. Seems to have started since you began this 20 pence business. Yes. Can't think why. Please, miss, any gym shoes handed in? Any gym shoes? Oh, yes. Have a route in there. And have your money ready on the way out. Where is it all coming from? I wonder. The thing is, I know I didn't lose this. You must have done it. It was in the lost property, wasn't it? Yeah. But how did it get there? I know I left it in my desk. Weird. What's up? Hi, Dad. Oh, sorry, Vicky. Here, yeah. have you seen that lost property queue? Cool. Yeah. Vicky had to pay 20p to Bogey to... Bogey! Where? Where? No. Oh, I what? mean, what if this Bogey has been taking stuff out of our desk, yeah. putting them in lost property, yeah. then charging us to get them back? Well, there's one way to find out. Hey? We set a trap for her. Yeah. That's you back. Ah, now, what's next? Hi, oh, hi, Rocky, Vicky. Hi, Sly. Si. Um, can we borrow a few bits and pieces? Yeah, what sort of bits and pieces do you? Nice potato. Here, yeah, what's going on? Badger? Hey, Simon, can we borrow a swing? Sure. Tom. Badger? And we need the paper bag. Uh, under there, I think, Vicky. Okay. Thanks. Badger? Yeah. Sorry. Badger? What's, will somebody please tell me what's going on? <laughs> See ya. See ya. Well, we've taken five pounds today. Five pounds? Yes. Now. Five pounds? That's right. Now. Five? You don't have to keep repeating everything I say, Polly Parrot. Pounds? Now. Of the children's money? Ah. But wait till you see where it's all going. Swimming pool fun. That's what it says on the label. Ah. You think this is the right place for it? Oh, yes. The children won't mind losing their money half so much if they know it's going towards building their very own swimming pool. I'm glad you think this is the right place for it. Oh, yes. <gasps> the infants will be tearing the place apart. Again. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yes. I'm very...
very glad indeed you think the Prunella Bogart Chucky Fund is the right place for all this money. Now, I think it's time to go and pick up a little bit more. Lost property. All right, Badger, that's quite enough mashed potato, Badger. Stop! Okay. I hope this spring works all right. I reckon it will. But what if Bogey's not going around picking... picking... picking stuff out of everyone's desks? Then she's got nothing to be worried about, has she? No, I suppose not, no. No. Badger! Oh, sorry. She's just coming! Oh. Close the desk! Right, right. <laughs> what about the sword? Oh, the sign. Thanks, Badge. Quick, quick, quick. There. That should, uh... Five pounds in one day. Ooh. Nothing much in there. I wonder how much I'll make to my... Ooh. Private, eh? Keep your nose out, eh? Must be something pretty valuable in... <coughs> What's this? I'll teach you to be nosy bogey. Well, really. Oh, hello, oh. headmistress. I have been the unfortunate victim of a booby trap, mashed potato all over me the second I opened the desk. Oh, isn't that terrible, headmistress? But why did you open the desk? I didn't. The desk was already open. I was just walking past. Well, then how did the booby trap work, then? Well, well, we don't just stand there. Come and help me get cleaned up. Yes, of course, it was. Oh, absolutely, headmistress. Certainly, headmistress. Gosh. Very naughty. But very clever. Oh, clear. <laughs> <laughs> you see her face? <laughs> oh, there, mu there must be something pretty valuable in. <laughs> you heard what she said, though. What? Oh. About getting a fiver out of all our stock today. Yeah, no way of getting that back, is there? No. There's always the old gypsy doubling box trick. Hey? Hey? You must know the old gypsy doubling box trick. <laughs> Times like this, Prunella. There's only one thing for it. A guzzling great pig out on Charles, glorious Charles! And all the nicer for it being paid for by the little parrot's pocket money. Charles, glorious Charles! This is it, Rick. Well, I hope they're ready. Morning, Spider. They better be ready. Or she'll be gone. Boy, she's on the way out. Okay, Lisa, two, three, and... What's going on down there? Bingy, bingy, bongy, 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 bingy, 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 bongy, 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 Science! Boom. Everybody out into the playground. Not you, Mr. Bodger. I'd like you to explain, if you would be so kind, what the Paisley pants you think you're playing at. Well, yes, it's this box, you see. What about it? I bought it in the school today. It belonged to my, um... Granddad. Uh, granddad, you see. What has that to do with bingy bongy boo Oh, well, my granddad got this box from the gypsies. And the idea is you put something into it, say, a uh, spoon, then you dance around doing the bingy bongies, it's all uh, written down here, and then when you open the box up, there should be two spoons in there. How? Who knows? But the really interesting thing about it is... Yes? Doesn't work. What? Unless it's tried by a strikingly beautiful woman with raven black hair. Who? Oh, I think I just heard a coal man come in. See you. A strikingly beautiful woman with raven black hair. Oh, no, it'd never work. Gypsies can't do magic. I don't suppose. That's an idea. Well... Why not? Bingy bongy bangy boo. Bingy bongy bangy boo. Bingy bongy bangy bangy boo. Bingy bongy bangy bingy boo. Bingy bingy bongy bongy bangy bangy bingy bingy. Bingy bongy bangy bingy boo. Well, I'm glad nobody saw me doing that. Two spoons. Oh, I can do it. I've got the knack. Oh! Spider! Quiet. He mustn't suspect. Wasn't the coal man off? 